So you lift it up and completely undo it. Good girl. That's, That's it. Done. And then that should just drop through. And then with your left hand, you're going to hold the pommel. And your right hand, you're going to hold the cantle and you're going to pull the saddle towards you. Hi, my name's Asya. I'm 11 years old. I've become an urban equestrian for over two years. So what's your name? Rosa. And how old are you, Rosa? 13. And how long have you been involved with the urban equestrian? About a year and a half. A year and a half. So nearly from the very beginning then, really? Yeah. How have you found your experience with urban equestrian? Have you enjoyed riding with us? Yeah. Yeah, what would you say is like the best part of working and riding with urban equestrian? I think socialising with new people and meeting new people. Cool. So do you have any friends like from school or anywhere other than the stables that do horse riding? No, I know no one else. I started the Urban Equestrian Academy South London two years ago. Originally, it was always something that I wanted to do, I wanted to be involved in. Didn't know how to start it, didn't even know where to begin. Then I actually found out about Freedom in Leicester running the Urban Equestrian Academy. Myself and one of our instructors, Sophie, reached out to him and just asking him how we could get involved and if there was any way that we could franchise or have a sister version down in London uh, using his branding and stuff like that. He gave us the okay and basically gave me free will to run here in London. So my goals with the academy eventually would be to have our own land, our own yard, to be able to just run from our own stables with our own horses because at the moment we actually hire the facilities from Kingston Riding Centre. So they allow us to actually rent and hire their horses, their arena and their facilities. Horses listen to our voices. We use our voices when we're riding, so don't feel shy. My name's Sarah, I'm 29. I first kind of started riding when I was about nine years old, but horses has always been something that I've wanted to do. I grew up in South East London, there wasn't really much going on in terms of horses, but it's just something that's been in me. Literally during COVID, I just thought to myself, you know what, horses is what I want to do. Horses is all I know, horses is all I'm really good at. I need to get into horses again. And I found Urban Equestrian on Instagram, dropped them a message and was like, do you guys need a hand? And then that's basically how it started. And two years on now, here we are. I think the most rewarding thing is literally seeing the children enjoy themselves. You know, we get children that come that have never touched a horse before. And by the end of the session, they're, they're wanting to stay and we're having to say, sorry, it's home time. And that is what we want. I remember we had a session at the beginning of summer um, and one of the little girls said, one day I'm going to take over this yard. And that for me was a moment and it gives me goosebumps because that's the attitude I had when I started riding. I was like, yeah, this is what I want. And I didn't really feel like I could do it growing up. And even now as an adult, I'm like, oh, is it possible? But it's like, if you've got that vision, I'm here to make sure that you can get as far as you want to get to. So in order for me to do that, I need to push myself as well. So the unique thing about Urban Equestrian is the fact that it is for kids, but as adults, it's really, you know, the volunteers here have now got their space as well as the children. And I think that is really key, you know, it works both ways. The goal would be to have our own place eventually. We're here at Park Lane Stables, running pony sessions for the young people in London. We're currently looking for stables for us to run further sessions at if you have a stables or a facility that you think that we could run at, please get in contact with us.